fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 27. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. On play action, it's Rodgers. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. On the delay, Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 71 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 47. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And this one is incomplete. There is something to a game plan when trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On first down, Rodgers. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Four yards remain for second down. On the counter, here's Jones. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. When you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. This is caught. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got a first and goal. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just a third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. On second and goal, Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! Sammy Watkins from a yard out. And the Packers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. 
Now Crosby for the point after. And the lead is now 24. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it's Sammy Watkins who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet, and in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their time. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Now into the hands of Watkins downfield. Touchdown, Packers. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. But partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football. All four touchdowns through the air. And that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Cousins now. And that'll be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops from one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Cousins to throw it. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of look at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. 
to throw on second and ten. Cousins. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Again, it's Cousins. And that's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And this one complete to Smith. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down, as that'll be a gain of 15 on fourth. Throwing Cousins. That'll be complete to Cook. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Called on a very strong gain of 24. They'll run with Cook. A great move, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now Cousins. This will be caught at about the six. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Now it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Third and goal for Cousins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Bad place to fumble down here in the red zone. At least they got it. They'll have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end zone. They weren't able to do that one. So you look over at the sideline. There's the head coach saying, oh, heck, kick it. Field goal time. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we can get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. And here's Jones again on second down. A solid stiff arm. 107 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, about that, a new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll try to run some clock now with Jones. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Time. 
And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. And they're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum. And oh, he coughed it up, and the Packers pick it up. They find some open field here. they take the field and they can run this score up even further as they begin this drive with a first and goal and that huge lead the defense gets him the ball via the turnover now can this offense cash in first and goal and they take a knee Charles, and that's about as big and clean of a win as you could hope for in the National Football League. No turnovers. While you, meanwhile, you forced turnovers. You didn't allow any points, and you put up a bunch of points. What an effort. And Brandon, I just have to ask you, that's all the stuff that we saw happen today. Those are statistics, numbers, the whole deal. But my question is, how does one team come ready to play, and the other one, obviously, not ready at all? Well, I mean, I obviously don't have an answer to that, but that was the story from the get-go. One side was awake and ready, and the other just seemed to sleep. 